filtering blended data. Usually we place a control on the page, there is a filter and the control filters charts of the same data source. But we know that we can blend data sources together up to five and then put them on a report canvas. What is the behavior of controls when we have blended data sources? Let's see. So I have this data source from Google Analytics demo account, which I have sessions and revenue per country. And from a Google sheet, I have the amount of ad spend for each country, right? Now this one, the country, it works on the Google demo account. So this is a control based on Google Analytics data source. There is no bridge field here. So this is some simple stuff. A control for this one, another control, based on the Google Sheet for the Google Sheet, again, with the field country, which I can select any country, and I can only see the countries within that Google Sheet and filter this. Now, this is my blended data source. So this is blended data. And if we look at the actual configuration of the blended data source, we can see that this is left join, first of all. So we are trying to enrich the left data source, which is the GA demo account, and in which we have country, session, and revenue. We want to get the ad cost for each of those countries from the right data set. The join key is country. So for each country, we're looking up the metric ad cost. And that's basically it. So we have two fields here, one field here, a simple left join data blend. Now here, what happens if I change the country on this one? I have the list of countries. I can select the United States. What happens is that it filters the left table. So let's go through it first and then we will see it in action. If I change it to the United States, this table should change to only show United States. And similarly, the left table in the blended data source, this one, which is this one, will have only one row showing the value for United States. So let's see that only United States. This will be my left table. I'm blending it with my right table. We know that in the left join, anything that is on the right table that cannot be found in the left table will be discarded. So the only value that is returned is the value for United States. So United States sessions revenue adds. Basically my filter filtered my left data source. Now, if I don't do that, if I select this one and choose United Kingdom. Now what happens? Let's simulate it first and then do it to see what happens. If I select United Kingdom from this one, it doesn't have any effect on my Google Analytics table because it's based on a Google Sheet and there is no bridge field. I don't want it to, I didn't want to complicate it anymore. So it will only keep this one, United Kingdom, but the left table with all the countries 183 countries will be untouched. So my blended data source will be trying to blend a complete table of all the countries in my Google Analytics account with a table of just one row that only has ad cost value for United Kingdom. And it shouldn't be able to find the ad cost for any other country other than United Kingdom, which is 8,000 something. Let's see. Only it will filter the right data source the left data source is intact. And in my blended data set, nothing will be returned for the ad cost of the other countries because now the right table is filtered and only has one. Does it make sense? The same works with date ranges. The same work with date ranges. If you're blending, if you're blending like three or five data sources, all of them are from Google Analytics account, for example and all of them have a date field, then the date range will filter all of them. If we are having like two, three Google Analytics account with a date field, but on the other end, a Google Sheet without a date field, then when we change the date range, only the tables with the date range will be filtered. The one without will not be filtered. So just keep it in mind, filters are applied first to the raw tables that we want to blend. And only then, when the filter is applied, the result of the blend 
will be culprit. So you, you did, this is the main rule. This is the takeaway from this section. If you want to filter blended data sources, the filter will be applied to any of the single data sources in the blend first, evaluate the rows that needs to still be there, and then it will calculate the blended data source. Any questions about this? Okay. Shall we move on to parameters?